Alright, so I've got a uh, DVB, a Scientific Atlanta DVB D9234 satellite receiver. And um, we're going to plug it in and uh, see if it powers on. Which I, I mean, I already know it doesn't, but I like the result of it not powering on here. Let's see. Alright, so I doubt you can hear that, but putting the camera as close as I can. Can you hear that? Nice little hum. So we're going to open it up, take the power supply out, and take a look at it. Alright, so here's the power supply out of that satellite receiver. And um, so we got the big filter cap right at the start. Looks good. Two little ones there. Here, here. And then we come to the big bank of them once we get to the voltage conversion area, the outputs. And obviously we can tell that one right there is a bit nasty. So it looks like it did. And it looks like it's been that way for a while. It's pretty crusty. So, um,. And then a few more little ones right there. And then one right there. That looks good. So, um, pretty much we could probably just replace that one and be done with it and good to go. But like I said before, I do resell pretty much everything I'm fixing. Um, so, and I'll probably sell this for like 30 bucks. So, my morals and ethics do not allow me to say, oh, just replace that one and then charge somebody 30 bucks for something that's prob that could fail again in the very near future. So I'm going to replace all of them, except for this little guy. I don't have any to replace him with, but the other 17 capacitors are going to get replaced. Um, so, and the difference is it's about $6.50 six to do all of them, and then it's about... 11 cents to do just that one say say 50 cents to do just that one so my morals and ethics will not allow me to make an extra six dollars profit on something that will probably fail again because um this one let's see what's the oh, come on focus 2007 is when this one was built so i mean that's over that's about nine years old so the chances of something else falling in the near future are very good because the majority of these caps uh let's see if we can get a brand on it uh none of them are facing the right way for me to get a brand shot but they're crap brand they're not you know they're not a good brand they're all crap so they're gonna fail again soon so let's replace them Alright, so I'm going to record the entirety of pulling all the stuff off this board. Um, I'm hoping I can speed it up. Um, like, it's, like if you don't know, I'm just using my cell phone to do this. Because I don't want to pay money for an expensive camera. So, i got to try and find an editing thing, app thing, to allow me to just speed up certain parts. So. If you're watching this and you don't want to watch me pull off 17 capacitors from the circuit board, then hopefully I was able to speed it up. If not, you can probably skip forward by about 10 minutes, maybe max, on the 10 minute.
so I got all the <clears throat> pieces on here. Got them all fucked up. And um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna video soldering a couple of them. And uh, then we'll, we'll, uh, I'll speed it up. Trying to see which ones are in view of the camera right now. Alright, so you can still see those. I know it's not really a very good picture, but hey, like I said before, I'm cheap. I'm okay with that. If you're not, then meh, you troll me. It's cool, I don't care. I'm doing this just for the fun of it anyway. Alright, cool. So pretty much at this point I'm just gonna speed them up and or speed up the video and uh so I can because like I said there's 17 of them. There's quite a few of them. So yeah. Alright, so I got the all the parts or all the caps installed and soldered. So we're gonna put the board back in. <coughs> got this little um, clear piece here. It's got to go in there. It's just to protect the, the thing from growing out, the uh, casing from growing out. Get some board. I'll put it back on, tuck that, slide. I'm going to stir this. This little thing right here is like barely holds itself up. That little plastic protector piece.
just want to make sure I'm still in the view. All right. with the, well the screw itself has the stud in the middle of the star, so the bit has the hole in the middle of it. So, just gonna check it before now. That's because I was videoing this one. I'm not thinking, but confidence, right? Confidence in your work. This is gonna work. So, while I'm just gonna put the cover back on, right? So, I know it's gonna work. <clears throat> so, let's shop check it. Alright, so I got it plugged in. I don't know, there's no hum. Like, literally, no hum from the power supply. So that's awesome. So let's turn it on. And you see the green dot? Yeah. And oh wow. It's like way. Can't even. There we go. So we are good to go. Boom. Boom. Cool. Any questions and comments, leave them below.